How to set up an EMI unit. If you plan to purchase or utilize an EMI unit, it is necessary to accustom yourself to its operation. Hi, my name is Mehdi Amiri and I'm the marketing director at Edesatec company. Let's explore Edesatec's EMI one together today. Edesatex EMI-1 Portab Drill Pipe Inspection Unit is designed for inspecting transverse flow in drill pipes. It covers a range of pipe sizes from 238 to 658, including nine different pipe sizes. The EMI-1 is our most popular inspection unit, thanks to its reasonable price and high level of durability. We have previously introduced the main parts of the EMI unit in a video which you can refer to for better understanding. The first step in setting up an EMI unit is assembling the mechanical parts. So first I place the sample pipe on the jacks and now I mount the buggy head on the pipe. And now I place the buggy on the buggy head. And tighten the screws into the head buggy. So we now uh, put the coil on the buggy. I bring it back and place the coil on the buggy. In the next step, I connect the military grade amphenol connectors. So before moving on to the EMI console, we must make sure that the buggy is centered to the pipe using this indicator. This is the back of EMI console and I will connect the signal, motors, coil and power cables. We are all set now. So let's head over to the EMI console. Okay, so I connected the connectors at the back and it's time to turn on the EMI console. Then I connect the USB cable. And you can hear that the Windows has detected the console. Now I run the software. And we go to the calibration mode. You can see that the software is running. I stop it, turn on the DC coil, start the software and go forward with the buggy. Stop at the back, stop the software, turn off the coil, and we want to calibrate the EMI console. By pressing the enter button, the software will de uh, automatically detect uh, the uh, sample uh, holes and it will calibrate itself. So we want to check if the calibration has been done correctly. We go back, turn on the coil, run the software and go forward. And you can see that the calibration has done correctly. I have provided a quick and easy guide to setting up an EMI unit. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Thank you and goodbye.